Well, I suppose that means we'll go to Valbrio first. Might as well get that done. I'll probably also get back to that swamp one of these days and finish up. Yeah, the Carnival's of World Call is a demon or spirit, and it's vulnerable to the notorious binding well, magic. Adamant. We've come a long way since Haven. I fear there's still a ways to go, but we're prepared. The Amulet of the Unbound, used by Rivani Seas, is said to be experienced in such magic. Well, finding an Amulet in this part of the world would be difficult. I know a well filled ancient novel, power collection, and from from Olofetus, and doubt you would miss one piece. Let's trade for it. No reason to Let speak. us begin. Ah. Copies of Harden Hightown and Harden Hightown 3. The repunctioning! <laughs> Sit side by side on the table along with it all. Nangil. Found several similarities to Vincent Barrick's books, but all are slightly off. Dead magistrate was not in his home. Man found murdered in the locked room was a comp, not a magistrate. Executors did not send warning, no direct to Don. Obviously, object of plot is sort of hysterian, not a penny dreadful awful. What happened in Adamant is a shame. I'm still reeling over the army of demons. Imagine what would have happened if the Inquisitor hadn't arrived. Close look at the ripoff book shows numerous grammatical and spelling errors which seem random at first, but some believe might contain code information. Kill and Orpha are clearly linked. Either the murder investigates or the either murder investigation or the code might lead us to a target. Screw it up. Thank God Lynn and our sky without being seen. The cipher the book might lead us too long. Let's see what we have. Yeah, Liliana, you can take a look at that. That will be your ball game. Let's see. The current was misnamed Mount Sorrento after the food ran up. The supplies of weapons and armor were ill suited to her survival. While the intended benefits remain unknown, we should have denied them thanks to Sarah's friends. Inquisitor, we tracked down uh, tracked Samson's remaining Red Templars escorting a supply carrier to a hidden location in the wilderness. It could be his headquarters. I expect a location before the hour is over. I've already begun preparing a squadron of soldiers to accompany us. Allow me to debrief you in person when you do permit. Commander Colin. Yes, yes, I suppose I should also attend to that. Colin slaves in the notorious hands, the name of our enemy, the College of Magi. Here we'll all pass in my room. We had one of the Liliana spies paid Lord Basilian to starting his rant at a recent ball. Just as you were reaching the climax of the argument, they just said into in full Inquisition regalia with an entourage of her soldiers and exposed her father's lies. She then challenged him to a duel for the Inquisition's honor. The Lord would not meet her blade and was shunned from the rest of the event. While they just said became the star of the evening. I don't think we need to worry about Lord Basile in the future. Ouch. Shake Valgamort from Darkspawn. My, you're watching. My town of Valgamort has been besieged by Darkspawn. I cannot fathom where the loathsome beasts have come from, but I beg the position for assistance. My own humble force have already been dispatched to help in your own noble efforts. Leave my people ill-equipped against this savage host. Word of your redemption of the Great Warden has already spread far. Please, if you can spare them, Valgamort lives at dies by your word. The Great Warden is the best in the world against Darkshine. This is the chance to shine. Go. Sure. All right. And I uh, should probably go to Valrio. Yeah. I need to go out to do this apparently. Also, is it just me or is it really long since I got a new agent? I guess I could have gotten one in the snow area, you know, if I actually had, <laughs> had any fox to give at, this, at the time. But I didn't. Just didn't. <sighs> Such is life, I suppose. Now, before we leave for El Rio, I want to go back in and see how much throne is working. Because that bucked me. Sarah's lovely approves. Hmm. Well, now 
it's missing. What the hell? You two had one job. One job. Make sure nobody runs off with my fucking chair. Now look at the place. It's empty. It's not supposed to be empty. It's supposed to have a chair. You dumbasses. Ugh. Right, right. Well, at least we can... No, well, now we see it. Oh, right, so you were just hiding it. Huh? I still can't actually use it. Oh, whatever. There's something of importance over there. So anyway, the world map. Oh, I might well, well buy the stuff from that um, one trader. Did this card change? The hell's up with that? Everyone the same. Oh, and then Varys just this. The hell's up with that? That's creepy. I'm bringing him along just because I'm curious. But hey, he has a smooth tongue and we may be negotiating. So let's get the talkers on hand. And so we have a toggle. We want a, yeah, a smooth toggle. I guess that's more Dorian than Solus. He's at least more experienced. No, seriously, what's with Barry's picture? Is he, has he been possessed? What is up with that? Now, let's find the really amazing thing. I want to buy that first. I think I aimed wrong when I did that. Up here. Wait. There we go. Yes, just quickly get me the up there. I've forgotten about the levels. <laughs> you swear it's true. They saw her in Belshavan? One of her friends was killed. She did him proper. I swear to you, she was in Starcade. How does she do it? She has friends everywhere. That's all that matters. You have the mystery box, and it costs... One third of my money. I am undone. Buried in wealth, but undone. Where is it now? The golden tank statue? Purchased? What becomes of Darabon? I have no idea. But you shouldn't put something for sale unless you uh, are willing to risk that somebody will buy it one day. Whee! I have complete disregard for my health and well-being. Also, I can't drink a healing potion. What the F? Oh, there's some leveling up to do, I notice. Not for me, of course. I still haven't got my advanced class, but yeah. See, throw everything. It's now never use every ounce of stamina you got to live a battlefield with traps. The more stamina you use, the more traps. Sure. Just, you know, throw everything in the kitchen sink at them. The last time was even should you follow QV Alice was trying to find them how to your name. Sure. Spirit mark. You mark a target with an attacking spirit, inflict ongoing damage. If a target dies while mark, the spirit mimics the victim's body briefly to find on your behalf. Doesn't have to ongoing spirit damage, trigger person, destiny, but you know, this sounds cool. I told you I was right not to send supplies to Haven. Look what happened there. I am more worried about who attacked them and why. Who cares? 
The Chantry declared them heathens. An attack was just a matter of time. The Most Holy is dead. Until a divine says not to, I intend to supply the Inquisition. They need... Your help! Dimitri. It's the they Grand mean. Ball and the Winter Palace, you stumbling. Oh, lots of talking. In the Inquisition? Red Jenny? How's that fit? Let's have a conversation. They don't forget us. Fates in and out all the time. Hey. Do you know where this noble wanted to meet us? I do. The Comte Poivre's invited us to his mansion, not far from here. I pray he clears up the deaths of my messengers, as promised. Well, let's go. Lead the way. Oh, forward! Into another trap, most likely. If not by the Comte, then someone else. It's never not a trap. I mean, I could be pleasantly surprised, but I'm not in the... I don't think so. I think something's going to happen. Welcome, ah, freaking masks. None of you look good, you know that? Thank you for seeing us, Comte Bavert. The honor is mine. Please, sit. It's what? an honor to assist two such distinguished guests. Well, we are happy for the help. We That's appreciate not your help, Comte. The death of Lady Montilly's servants must weigh heavily on you. Have you heard of the House of Repose? The Assassin's League? My contacts obtained a copy of a document in the archive. Contract for a life. The House of Repose is hereby sworn to eliminate anyone attempting to overturn the Montelier's trading exile in Orlais. Well, at least we know. Who signed that? Who's sending these assassins? contract was signed by a noble family. The Du Paraquettes. But the Du Paraquettes died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 years ago. How can a family try to kill you after they died out? The Du Paraquettes were our rivals. They drove the Montelliers from Val Royale. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duties. But that contract's If the people who wanted your family dead are gone, why are the assassins still after you? A contract is a contract, Inquisitor. Our legion businesses live and die by their reputations. The entire guild's welfare would be endangered if an agreement was tossed aside on a whim of time or fate. She's quite right, Your Worship. The House of Repose is doing what it feels necessary by its standards. Well, let's kill them all. So we destroy this house of repose before assassins appear at Skyhold's doorstep. There may be a less confrontational way to end this. The two paraquets still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a two paraquet could annul the contract on my life. Uh, that will take time, Lady Montelier. Time during which the house of repose will be obliged to hunt you. Will they now? You are exceedingly well informed. You're not to have said you'd heard rumors at best. A bit of subterfuge. This contract on your life is an ugly business. One the House of Repose deeply regrets. Ah, but this I see. is Orlais. Even an assassin's word is his bond. What's the ever comes? Does Comte Boisvert actually exist? Absolutely. The Comte's offer to reveal the killers of Lady Montilly's messengers was genuine. So was his information somehow. A nun to be tied up later. I knew it was I thought you were remarkably well informed about a secret assassin's guild. Uh, we are hardly secret, my dear Inquisitor. Just normally much more reclusive. The contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. It is appreciated. Monsieur? Your idea to seek out the Duparaquette to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. 
I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in a contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the Guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you, Millie. May we conclude with my departure? Yes. Not on your life. As you wish. I hate when they do that. <laughs> Fucking Harlequins. Seriously? Sorry, but professionals or not, I cannot have you attacking my people or people working on them. I hope you understand that this is nothing personal, but I just have to make sure you people do not get in the way. That's the last of them. Well, that's the last time I agree to wait on the other side of a door when you're around. Are you two all right? Yes, thank you, Lord Paris. I think it's time we return to Sky. I have much to discuss with the Inquisitor there. Do you hear something? A Danish tone! Wow! Oh wait, that's not that the tones I need. Oh, the lock's been broken off. We'll find a saw. I realize the cabinet is quite valuable, Comte, but surely... A... locksmith, then? As you wish. Well, this is ridiculous. Well, we got rid of a couple of them, at least. <sighs> Having those guys raised to noble status will not help anything. It's probably just what they want. But if it, but if it isn't an assassin guild, then no problem. <laughs>